It is 917. Chicago photographer Marty Perez spent 30 years documenting the local music stages, capturing rising stars, major rock groups, and some lesser known acts that uh, still became legends. He just released a book featuring 200 of these photographs, including shots of Led Zeppelin, Queen, Lou Reed, Muddy Waters, and many more. It's called Kill a Punk for Rock and Roll 1976 to 2019. And Marty Perez joins us live. Thanks for being Good here. Good morning. Well, thank you for having me. So Good you grew morning, up on everybody. the south side in the Beverly neighborhood. Yep. How yep. did all this start? Did you just go to a concert once and realize you were good at taking pictures or what? That's it. Really? That as simple as that. And uh, the response was real good. And uh, I, you know, just became more and more interested uh, with trying to document it. And uh, at the time, we had uh, stuff like Cream Magazine, Circus, yeah. Rolling Stones and stuff like that. So that also fed in, gave me the impetus, the uh, inspiration to, uh, to uh, d you know, to do the photography. I wasn't very good uh, musically or didn't have much uh -huh. in the way of a musical aptitude, so I figured I'd try and add to the scene or uh, well, it make seems myself noticed. A good venue where you just point and shoot. Something interesting is happening at, at a rock concert. What, what is it that you're looking for that helps a photograph stand out from other concert rock photos? Uh, just... Do you know you're one, what is it, uh, saying like 125th of a moment, trying to get that, you know, <laughs> yeah. the, 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 the uh, let's say the hammer of the gods type shot, that, uh, you know, that just perfect inspirational shot where, you know, the, you're, you, you're, you're visually f making uh, somebody feel the moment. Yeah. yeah. Well, uh, let's look at some of the samples of some of your slowly here. Let's do. go through uh, th festival crowds. I think we have one here to start with. Or do we have, oh, well, let's, let's, let's start with Liz let's Fair. Let's see what pops okay. up and we'll go from there. Yeah. yeah. Here we go. Oh, Liz Fair when she first she, she, started. Wow. This was, uh, I had seen Liz open up for somebody, oh, a couple, about a couple months before this show. Uh, at Lounge Jack, she had played this little dive bar on Division called Czar Bar. And this show was at Lounge X. Uh, she and was opening up for another act called Antenna. And as you can see from the state, you know, from the crowd there, uh, it was very early on in her career. People were yeah. still wondering yeah. who, this, uh, who this local uh, chanteuse <laughs> yeah. was, and uh, that's the beginning of the climb up the ladder. Uh, unreal. Right. Let's take a look at the next one. Oh, <laughs> so this couple over here is yeah, making that, out. That, that's a, that, this, this is one, that, as I was putting together the book, I, I hope that the uh, art director went with just because it's like, yeah. it's a festival show, but there's something going on over there in the left <laughs> corner, which is, uh, that's you great. know, it adds a little timely element to the whole thing. Right. Yeah. Some people don't care what's going on. Exactly. Uh, exactly. All right. As long as love is in the air. Talk about Maxwell Street. Uh, as there was one time when Maxwell Street was the... You know, the funky, what a lot of people nowadays would consider an eyesore part of town, but there was a whole lot of soul still to it. Well, you had the market, the history, and then the blues the was blues, playing. The blues, and then yeah. your food vendors and yeah. stuff. And on mm -hmm. Sundays, uh, you'd go down looking for a deal, but then you'd have a, a, a whole day of uh, just local blues musicians mm -hmm. sitting out and jamming. And wow. also, you'd, you, you, wouldn't, you couldn't you would find some of the best food around town. You oh, have your yeah. mariascos and, and some of the homemade tacos and mm. stuff like this. Yeah, well, there's Kurt Cobain. You can't see him behind the hair. But yep. Where was this? What uh, this was at the Metro. This was maybe their third show in town. Wow. Uh, they were opening, ironically, for a local band called 11th Dream Day. <laughs> wow. And uh, <laughs> they were all sick. All, 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 all the guys were... were they were heading back to Seattle, and, and from one of the biographies uh, or histories of Nirvana, that was their show where the three of them went back home really sick. Wow. Uh, and uh, and let's yeah, look Kurt's at in the moment on that one. Jimmy Page, this is a great one. And uh, this is at the old Chicago Stadium, uh, the last time uh, Led Zeppelin played live. And it's, uh, you know, he's prowling the stage doing the guitar thing. And what makes this shot stand out is... I was uh, 20, you know, 20 rows back, happened to take the shot the same time this person up in the, up in the front row is taking their shot with their Instamatic. Otherwise, that shot wouldn't have mattered. Uh -huh. It would have probably been dark. And, you know, oh, and so that's it was how you just kind of like, you know, like, like at the 60th, 30th of a second that I was taking it, that, yeah. that person snapped their Instamatic <laughs> shot. You've got the bouncer and then Jimmy Page prowling the wow, stage. Wow, that's great. Lefty Diz. Now he was uh, he was one of the classic old school blues guys that uh, 
played almost every weekend in Chicago during this, you know, the 80s and stuff wow. like this. He's, 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 uh, he's b probably better known in Europe than he is here, but he was uh, uh, a consummate uh, showman, uh, performer, and uh, just uh, a purveyor of the old school Chicago blues stuff. Well, it's, it's great. For more on the book, you can check out hozakrecords.com, and you can also find the pictures on social media. Pleasure to meet Marty. you, Marty. Good well, to thank meet you. Thank you, guys. Have Thanks a good weekend. Thanks for being here. Take care, everybody. Tom.